So in this video, I just want to take a minute to encourage you to uh, repair the main seal on your uh, mast cylinder. It's actually the easiest cylinder to rebuild on a TCM forklift and probably uh, many other forklifts. All you do is put a jack stand or a block of wood here and lower the uh, attachment plate down onto it. That will loosen your hoses and your chains. So then you just take that bolt out of there, take this cap off, slip these to the side, and then this uh, hub here will have two uh, hex key screws on it. One will be a bleeder, and one will be a uh, set screw. I believe this little guy here is a set screw, and then the bleeder is on is on the side right there. It's a bit bigger, you won't be able to see it. But uh, for the main piston, there's no sealing components on it. The only thing that there is that's replaceable is this wear sleeve, which goes up and down in the uh, bore. But you don't need to replace that unless you've got some kind of, if it's worn out. So all you gotta do is take out that set screw and the uh, oil bleeder, and you can use a uh, spanner wrench to take this off. Mine was actually just hand tight. What had failed on it was that the packing was bad and it popped this seal out and it was just leaking a bit of oil here and there. And uh, you can, I think there was like four parts in here that you have to be replaced because they're so big they're really easy to replace. So uh, if you did want to remove that piston, it's very heavy. So what I did was to inspect it, I used the engine crane, but uh, because the arms stick out, you can only put like one arm down on the crane and come up on an angle and you can lift the piston but you have to lift it like straight up you can't have it cocked in any way because it's just going to get bound and you can lift it out of there and change that ring if you want to you don't need to disconnect any hoses or anything there is an orifice at the bottom of this that allows oil to pass so it's not it's really easy to remove you don't even lose any oil out of here because if you lift it up slowly the oil goes through the orifice back underneath of the uh, gland or underneath that ring and into the uh, cylinder so if this has been leaking it's only a half an hour job at the most to replace it the hardest thing you gotta do is just find something to hold your attachment plate up you just lower the uh, boom down things loosen up Take that guy off. It's super simple. It's got a taper on the end of that piston. So you just unscrew this, slide it up, and you're good to go. So I thought I'd just explain that. So thank you for watching.